Hi there, I'm Ben. I'm a paleontologist from Southern Australia and I'm fascinated by the world around us. And today we're going to be talking about a group of birds that existed on the planet for almost 60 million years. They had what was arguably the largest wingspan of any bird ever found in the fossil record. Today, we're going to be talking about the pseudo-toothed freaks from the Cenozoic, the Pelagonithids. So let's dive straight into it. Cannonball! One of the most intriguing features of the Pelagonithids is their wingspan. When you compare them against the current world record holder, the Wandering Albatross, they're pretty big. They have a wingspan of at least four meters across, but the Pelagonithids dwarf them. They were anywhere between six and seven meters in length. So how do they do it? When you look at the cross section of their bones, it's incredibly hollow. They had a cortex that was maybe two to three millimeters thick, and then that was it. It allowed them to soar above the immensity of every single ocean for millions and millions of years. Even the absolute largest, such as Pelagorna sandesii from 25 million years ago from North America, would have been attaining a weight of only 40 kilograms. <laughs> Another bizarre feature of these birds was their jaws. They had what looked like teeth embedded in them, unlike any modern bird lineage today. But what they actually were, were pseudo teeth. Bony projections coming from the jaws themselves and not actual teeth. They would have used them for ensnaring very slippery prey as they glided over the top of the water. Oh, come on, you can go high. The Pelagonithids first appeared roughly 62 million years ago from New Zealand, from a specimen that was only about the same size as a seagull. But their affinity has still remained unresolved to this day. There are some scientists that even suggest that they're more closely related to chickens and ducks, the Anseriformes, than any other modern group of birds on the planet. That is just how weird they are. As you can imagine, we've also found this incredible bird from the lost world of Bayside. And in order to tell the next part, we've got to travel back to 2019. The prophecy is true. In October 2019, Good friend and citizen scientist Connor Bracken was coming back from a dive. In his hands, he held a long cylindrical brown tube. It was a fossil, and not just any fossil, but part of the wing bone of one of these incredible pelagonithids. I said, that's amazing. It's over five million years of age. What an awesome find. We went into the labs and museums Victoria, and on a whim, I suggested we compare it to some of the other specimens that had been found and were in the collection already. And lo and behold, it joined up to another specimen that had been collected in 1975. They had been reunited after almost 44 years apart. I turned to Connor and I said, where's the rest of it? <laughs> this is the lost world of Bayside. Like you've never seen it before. Ben out. What's up y'all, it's your boy Ben. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe. If you have any questions, chuck them down below. And other than that, Ben out.